We just finished one night in Paris. We stayed at this really cool boutique hotel as a part of a train and hotel package. Cheaper than just the train itself. And look what's behind me, the Eiffel Tower. We are headed back through London to LA, BA Club World. Let's go check it out on the A380. Yeah. So we made it to the Paris airport, and lo and behold, there's a Cathay Pacific lounge. So we used our BA boarding pass because we're in business. You can get in if you're One World Sapphire or Emerald as well. But as long as you're flying international on One World, you can slide right into the Cathay Pacific lounge, which would be better than going into like an American Admirals Club. So before we hop over to London, we're enjoying a little bit of breakfast. I mean, like there's a whole thing here. So as you can see behind me, it's a really nice lounge. And uh, we're gonna enjoy a little bite, hop on the Club Europe flight over to London, and then we'll be hopping on BA's international business on the U380. So follow along. Yep. So you're wondering what business class is like intra Europe. So this is our flight between Paris and London. This is it. So it's basically economy with just the middle seat blocked off. And you can see it goes back there to where those curtains go, so. Going on over to London, check out the Galleries Lounge, and then I promise we're gonna hop on this A380, but I thought you guys might wanna see this too, but it's all it is, not really worth it, you're paying a lot of money for it, but get lounge access and that, so anyways, we're taking off. Yep. So we're actually in the BA Galleries Lounge, which is in Terminal 5 on the south side all the way upstairs. And you have access to this if you're flying on British Airways or any other One World uh, in business class. Or if you're One World Sapphire, uh, Emerald can also come in here. Uh, also, if you're Alaska MVP Gold or MVP Gold 75, you actually have access to this lounge if you're traveling over here. And that's in any cabin of service. You can pop up in here if you're one of those statuses. So that's a nice little place to, this is a nice little spot to pop into. Uh, they've got uh, tons and tons of seating. We hopped into just like a little bit of a booth here to do a little recording. They've got champagne bars, a lot of food. They've got showers you can freshen up. They also have a spa, which is downstairs, which is in between the B a first lounge and the Concord room and I actually was able to pop in there and get a quick 15 10 or 15 minute massage which is the first time this has happened I've been through here a bunch and I've had a chair one time a chair massager and then this is the first time I actually had a human being so that was pretty exciting because normally my labor is so short that I can't I don't have enough time to pop in uh, or they don't have any uh, available appointments so first thing you should do when you get here is pop over to the spa see if they can see you and if they can make an appointment grab a little food pop back down there and rest and relax showers the whole works anyways I'll give you a quick little walk around uh, it's nice for two three hours nothing like spectacular oh my gosh Lil just had her massage, she's just popping back up too. We're rolling, we're rolling. Anyways, I'll show you a little quick tour of this and then we're gonna go off to the 8380 Club World. So 10 minutes to boarding, I've gotten a nose bleed because I've been taking so many allergy pills and cold medicine. I told you I was coming down with something. So I may have to board the plane looking like this. Or looking like this with a pigeon by nose. So, uh, we may just jump to the plane. We might not do a boarding video. Yeah. So, we gotta go over to the Seagate. So, you gotta get on the train. So, make sure if you guys are doing this too, you leave enough time. Because we don't have a lot right now. We're heading over there. Fingers crossed we make it. A380, here we come. So 
So here we are, PA Club World A380 upper deck on a very typical aisle seat. I'll walk you through the seating configuration, but there are special seats. You can see in this cabin it's 232. Downstairs it's actually 242 because the airplane, the fuselage actually curves in. And so the seating configuration up top is actually better, a little bit more privacy, but BA is sort of right now ripping all these old Club World seats out. They have an entirely new club suite that they're debuting, well they've already debuted it, but it's only on select routes. So we'll walk you through, this is what you'll probably get on almost any airplane that you're going to fly aside from ones that have club suites. So those club suites you'll see it has a 1-2-1 configuration and those are spectacular. This is what you'll see typically on uh, any BA business class uh, club world. So I'll walk you through the seat uh, and sort of the pros and cons of it. So BA came through and redid a lot of what they call the soft product, which is the amenity kits, the food. And they now provide white company amenity kits, so this has all of your typical toiletries in it, and it's a really nice material, so that was the first step up they did. And they also redid all of the bedding, which you'll see, I'll make the bed later, but it comes in this great little packaging for BA the white company, so that's a nice little step up. I think both of those were head nods to the direction that BA wanted to head, um, which is what they did with their new business class, so that full integration with all the new white company products alongside that new seat, I think makes BA one of the best business classes in the world, however, we're on their old club world, so this seat is, I think, one of the worst across all airlines. You have very little privacy. Uh, even this, in this configuration right now, I'm basically facing the person next to me. Liz is back here talking to the person who's next to her, which it is fine, but it's very little storage. Um, you can see the seats aren't very wide, but they do go fully flat. Here's all of the IFE stuff back here. So your USB headphones, and then if you want to go into bed mode, it does go fully down, however, you have to put this ottoman to flip it down. And then the only storage that you have is down here, and it's pretty minimal. The laptop will not fit in it, so I'll, I'll pop that in to frame as well so you can see what the storage looks like. And this is basically pajamas, a lot of my equipment that would fit in there, and some eyeglasses, and probably now you get power, another USB. So another big step that VA made was they changed all the food. So the food now in flight Ladies is catered and by Doe and Co. Amazing Maybe food, excited for this meal, so uh, we'll check that out too. And of course they come around with water, juice. It's always a celebration of business. It's a little champers. Yep. Up in the air. Put this little privacy screen up. So now we're kind of in our own little space. I'm gonna pop the seat back, start watching uh, the new Tarantino Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Haven't seen it in the theaters, pretty excited about it. And then uh, we'll start digging into this Doe Co. But it's incredibly quiet. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's like it's so quiet. The A380s, these Airbus and A350s, Dreamliners, A380s. I don't even need a mic on. You guys can probably hear me all right, but it's it's phenomenal. But you can see, I'll show you the IFE, old school, about the size of my hand. I'll flip it around. Start watching. Food's coming up. Show you guys the bed, the whole service. Here we go. First course just came. Salad, tarragon dressing, and tarragon, and switching it up, champagne, rosé champagne. What? I'll show you the 
the rest. Decided to dig into that. Just come with the main course, which I got the vegetable curry. Which pretty good. We'll see. Hopefully it's nice and flavorful. But here's what it looks like. The salad, the uh, tarragon salad I started with was uh, pretty good. I need something, something hearty. We got the curry, the rice, some greens in the middle.